What's on YouTube? It's PTT coming at you with another Destiny video and in today's video guys we carry on the beginner's guide and we talk about weapons. Now there is a wide variety of weapons in Destiny and today's video is going to be aiming at breaking down the weapon types and how to use them effectively. So we're not going to dilly dally around, we're going to jump straight into it. First of all, we're going to be covering primary weapons. Now, there are four different types of primary weapons currently in Destiny. We have auto rifles, pulse rifles, scout rifles and hand cannons. Now I'm going to give you a little talk about each of them guys and then we will move on to special weapons. So up first then, auto rifles. Auto rifles are fully automatic and they are most powerful up close where you can maintain near perfect accuracy through an entire magazine. Good stability and a good sight can extend this performance out to a medium distance. But auto rifles generally lack the ability to deal their full potential damage to long range targets. Also, Nailing constant precision shots is very difficult even at close to medium distance. Basically guys, auto rifles are okay in Destiny at the moment. Um, they've gone through a very funny cycle in their life of Destiny. At one point they were very overpowered. Then they were very, very poor. They kind of brought them back to a nice middle ground now. Um, there are a few, obviously, that top the list. Um, I'm not going to go into them in too much detail in this video because we're just giving you a kind of basic overhaul. But needless to say, if you've got an auto rifle, guys, I would definitely check the stability and the impact versus the rate of fire. Let's move on next then to scout rifles, right? Scout rifles are semi-automatic. As quick as you can pull the trigger, guys, is as quick as they will fire. Scout rifles are long range specialists. They pinpoint accurate, deal good damage per round and are ideal for scoring consecutive precision shots. If you can constantly land precision shots, scout rifles can perform quite well at medium range. Now, they're not too shabby at long range either guys okay sure you've got to be a little bit more accurate you've got to definitely fire the weapon a little bit slower you but you can still land your headshots your precision shots and get good damage out of a scout rifle at long range that being said as well things like the Midan multi-tool which is an exotic scout rifle can also be used very effectively at close range personally i use the Midan on Every PvP map, it doesn't matter whether it's short range, long range, I love the Mida, it's an amazing scout rifle, it's an amazing exotic, um, yeah, that's scout rifles guys. Let's move on then to pulse rifles, so pulse rifles are three round burst semi-automatic weapons. Pulse rifles work well out to a medium distance. Compared to a perfectly accurate auto rifle, they don't deal quite as much damage up close, at long range and compared to a scout rifle, missing shots in your bursts cause your damage to fall off. Between close to medium to medium long distances they perform well with significant stability and good optics. You can often land a decent percentage of precision hits. Now pulse rifles are kind of very powerful at the moment. Um, you know Destiny has gone through a lot of different metas in its life um, through PvE and PvP. Pulse rifles though have tend to be one of them things that keep coming back. Okay, They've got some very good pulse rifles out there at the moment. In fact some of them are so good it kind of almost feels like cheating. Um, i.e. the grasp of Malak. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say too much on the Pulse Rifles, guys. They're very, very good weapons when you can get used to the fact that they're three-round burst. Um, you then team that up with some very good perks, i.e. Glasses Half Full, Head Seeker, things like that. You can have an amazing PvE and PvP weapon. Sticking on the subject of Pulse Rifles just for a few more seconds, then... There is an exotic pulse rifle called the Red Death. Now this thing is absolutely amazing. Um, I run it on my Hunter in almost all PvE content. Um, it has a very special exotic talent, whereas every kill will actually regenerate your health. Add to the fact, obviously, you've got burst fire, so you can control your accuracy and recoil and things like that. It's an amazing weapon, guys, right? Let's move on then to talk about hand cannons. Hand cannons, again, are semi-automatic and kind of fire as quick as you can pull the trigger. Hand cannons perform slightly better in terms of potential damage output than either pulse or scout rifles, but they demand excellent accuracy. Hand cannons have small magazines and missing any shots cause them to fall behind the other weapons in damage output. 
In general, they work best to close and medium distances. Hand cannons deal the highest damage per shot of any primary weapon. So if you can manage to chain precision hits with no delay and no misses, they can inflict heavy damage. Now again, I talk about Destiny's changing meta over the last two years. Hand cannons have gone from being very powerful to very useful, kind of back to very powerful again. Things like the last word, the return of Thorn with Rise of Iron. You know, hand cannons are very, very good, guys, but you have got to have a very skilled hand to use them effectively in a PvP world. PvE, they're a little bit more forgiving. Um, I actually have a couple of hand cannons I use uh, when playing PvP. PvP? PvE. Um, they're good fun. You can get some really good perks on them. But when it comes to the Crucible, if you really want to be on top of the leaderboard, guys... Get yourself a hand cannon, get good with it, you know, get used to the stability, get used to the kick, make sure you're not missing your shots, but ultimately, <laughs> get yourself a last word. Right, that about wraps up the primary weapons, guys. We're going to move on to special weapons now, and there's actually three of these that we're going to cover. This is fusion rifles, shotguns, and sniper rifles. Fusion rifles are strung out to a close medium range and their high stability, high range, low recoil models can be used out to a medium distance very effectively also. You must charge fusion rifles to fire holding the trigger. The amount of time you must hold the charge varies based on the rifle's charge time statistic. Once you fully charge a fusion rifle it instantly shoots. You cannot hold the charge so make sure you're on target when the rifle fires. Fusion rifles, again, guys, they're very, very good. They've gone through a few different metas in game for PvE and PvP. But ultimately, they are very, very powerful. Um, I very recently got back into using um, an exotic fusion rifle called the Plan C. Um, it's an amazing thing, you know. It has very good charge time, very good impact. And if you can get the hang of kind of pre-charging but not letting the weapon fire, so you're kind of hovering on and off the trigger, so it keeps it charged, and then when you need it, you just kind of hold the trigger in for a second or two, and actually goes you know you can very easily run around the pvp areas and pvp pvp i keep doing that when i talk about pve or pvp i get kind of tongue-tied but yeah it doesn't matter whether you're in the crucible or in pve fusion rifles are amazing high damage output very very reliable let's move on next then guys to sniper rifles snipers are long range finesse implements demanding a steady hand in exchange for dealing lethal precision damage. These are powerful, long-range killing machines. Limited by shallow magazine and ammo reserves, sniper rifles also have a base zoom of times 4 so using them at short range is awkward. Now, it's not all the fact you can't use them at short range, guys, but it can be tricky. And hip-firing them is all but useless. However, at long range, sniper rifles are pinpoint accurate and deal heavy damage per shot. Always try to aim for precision shots to maximise your damage output. The thing with sniper rifles, guys, is they are deadly in the Crucible, right? If you can get your eye in and you get one with very good perks and a very good scope on it, you can be an absolute killing machine. You can very easily, if Guardians line up and you land headshot, take out double Guardians with one shot. They're absolutely amazing. When you come to end game activity like raids, nightfall, strikes and things like that, having a high damage sniper really does make the difference when going up against bosses, okay? I highly recommend that you grab yourself um, a sniper rifle doesn't matter what you're planning on playing um, and get keep it in backup okay maybe you're a shotgun fan and you prefer shotguns um, maybe as you get into house of wolves and the Taken king when you get your hands on sidearms which are another special weapon that we won't talk about those in this video because you won't get them at the beginning of destiny then yeah i don't say that definitely recommend getting one make sure it has high impact make sure that the stability is fairly good so you don't get too much kick Let's move on to shotguns then. Shotguns are brute force implements designed solely to deal lethal damage at short range and do nothing else. They do not have finesse or any kind of range for that matter, but what they do do, they do well. You can easily hit fire shotguns because at the range you're using them, accuracy is rarely an issue. However, if you want to ensure that all your damage gets on target, use the ADS and line up your shots squarely. In v PvP, shotguns can commandingly shut down other opponents in close quarter fights. 
and a sliding shotgun blast or a shotgun melee combo is extremely deadly. In PvE, shotguns are ideal for missions with many fights in confined spaces and they are particularly useful for rapidly dispatching multiple lesser minions at short range. Shotguns have intense recoil, poor range and slow reload, but when you want a target dead immediately at short range, there is no better tool. Shotguns are very useful guys, um, I carry two different shotguns with me at all times, one for the Crucible and one for PvE. It doesn't matter what you're doing, shotguns can always come in handy. If you're someone that maybe can't get your eye into using a sniper, you know, you're not too good with them, I definitely recommend a shotgun. Like I say, it's, yes you've got to be up close to make the most of the damage from them, but they are amazing pieces of kit in game. Before we wrap up the kind of special weapon talk then, let's cover a couple of notes that I think are useful. All three weapons in the special weapon class are useful for different range bands and they are also your primary source of elemental damage. Pairing a special weapon that complements your primary weapon range is a good idea. A shotgun can help make up for the scout rifle's weakness at close range and a sniper rifle can assist you if you're using an unstable auto rifle or hand cannon. The fusion rifle occupies a middle ground. Unsurprisingly, it is the most broadly unstable of the three. Keep in mind that whilst a fast charging fusion rifle can mostly replace a shotgun for short range combat, it cannot replace a sniper rifle for extremely long range shots. If you know that a mission requires dealing with targets at long range, either bring a scout rifle with a good sight or bring a sniper. In PvE combat, having a mix of range bands in your primary weapon and special weapon slots lets you deal a variety of situations. By spreading the necessary elements around your fire team's special weapon, you can effectively deal with shielded enemies. In PvP combat, you should choose your special weapon based on the map and mode in question, as well as your own personal playstyle preferences. Now, Guys, I spoke about elemental damage in that little paragraph. Um, elemental damage is something we will cover in a later video because there's a lot of things that have changed as Destiny has gone through its lifespan. Um, we used to have primary weapons with elemental damage. That is no more the case bar one. Um, elemental damage can be a little bit tricky if you don't know what to do um, to counter it. But, oh, pardon me. Like I said, guys, we will cover that in a later video. Let's move on then to heavy weapons. We have machine guns and rocket launchers. They are the two we're gonna talk about in this video. While yes, with the introduction of Taken King, there are exotic swords and an exotic fusion rifle called the Sleeper Simulant, you are not gonna be getting your hands on them for a while, guys, until you have played through both Vanilla Destiny, the Dark Below, and the House of Wolves expansion. So we will cover those other primaries, specials, and heavies in a later video. Up first then, let's talk about the machine gun. Machine guns are high powered, high recoil, fully automatic weapons. While they are broadly similar to auto rifles, they hit much harder per bullet and generally have higher recoil, making them more difficult to use at distance. Machine guns also have slow reload times, so once you drain a belt of ammo, you need time and cover to reload safely. But when you need sustained damage output, machine guns are the heavy weapon of choice. Yes, rockets are more powerful, but their ammo is even more sharply limited, and they can suffer from overkill. With a machine gun on the other hand, you can use exactly as many bullets as necessary. Elemental machine guns are particularly useful in PvE for agile shielded targets, or for mobile shielded targets that are difficult or wasteful to hit with rockets, such as wizards, shanks, and myth such as wizards or shanks. In PvP, machine guns lack the instant lethality and explosive AOE power of rockets. AOE, guys, is area of explosion, but they can potentially kill more targets per heavy ammo drop if you are careful. Prize stability on machine guns and hunt for a legendary machine gun with a good set of mods, the right gun with the popular mods can be a truly lethal piece of hardware. Now, Year one vanilla destiny there were some amazing like machine guns. Things like the swarm were very, very deadly. Coming into Dark Below, 
Hauser Wolves and Tatum King, we have got even better heavy machine gun. Currently, I believe the Quillam's Terminus that comes out of the Taken King Hard Raid, King's Fall, um, is very, very awesome. Okay, you see a lot of people running around in Crucible with it. A lot of people use it in PvE. I would highly recommend, guys, that you keep one of each elemental type heavy machine guns in your stash. Let's move on then to Rocket Launchers. Rocket Launchers are destructive firepower. Instantly lethal in PvP and devastating to vehicles and enemy in PvE. Rockets are ideal when you need an entire room of enemies gone immediately. A word of warning, rocket explosions don't have any friends. So if you are too close to the blast, you can take yourself down with your shot. Guys, especially if you're playing with things that have um, proximity, um, wolf pack rounds on the Galahorn, what else is there? There's another one, grenades and horseshoes as a perk. You've got to be very careful, okay? These things have a tendency to blow up right in front of your face if an enemy is there and you can very easily kill yourself. Rocket launchers vary in speed of the rocket and size and damage of the blast. Some are more suitable for mid-range targets while others are best used at close to close medium distance. It's often a good idea to use your jump ability to get some altitude before you fire. A rocket splash damage means that aiming down from above lets you get a perfect angle and drop the rocket directly at your target's feet. Thing is guys, the rockets can be used very effectively in PvP and they can be used very effectively in PvE. Uh, the year one meta was a rocket launcher. Um, some of you have probably heard of the Galahorn. If not, it is returning for the Taken King. It is an amazing piece of gear. I'm glad to be having it back. But if I was you, I wouldn't limit yourself to just one heavy weapon. I would make sure that you have a rocket launcher with all the different elemental types and a heavy machine gun with all the different elemental types. Now, I've been waffling on a little bit here, guys, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Like I said, in a later video, we will cover sidearms, swords, and the heavy fusion rifle, the sleeper simulant. As I know you won't be getting these until the Taken King, and this is kind of a beginner's guide, I feel it better to break up the video into those kind of two parts. Guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know any comments you have in the section down below. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. There are plenty more Destiny videos coming your way. And as always, Guardians, thank you very much for watching. Until the next video, I'll catch you all soon.